Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomus Biology. In this particular video, we are going to talk about natural killer cells, natural killer cells of our immune system. So we'll be talking about the origin of natural killer cells, natural killer cell structure, location of action, function of natural killer cell and mechanism of action of NK cells in our immune system, what roles that they play in our immune system. So let's start with the first topic that is the origin of natural killer cell. The natural killer cells are derived in our bone marrow. That's the simple place of the origin from the hematopoietic stem cells and then they differentiate into common lymphoid progenitor cells. So among all the all the uh, types of progenitor cells that we know lymphoid progenitor is the one which is uh, the fate for this you know ultimate fate from where uh, the natural killer cells are going to be produced in the bone marrow from lymphoid progenitor cells and uh, their development is influenced by interleukin 15. There are multiple cytokines that they influence the development of different kinds of cells in our immune system but interleukin 15 actually triggers and influence the growth and development of uh, the natural killer cells along with some of the transcription factors uh, which can be easily recognized with the transcriptome analysis. Now next is the structure. Here is an image showing you the structure of natural killer cell. Now simply if you look at the structure it has multiple uh, receptors on its surface, multiple cluster of differentiation, cluster of designation you say CDs, CD markers on their surface. So they are very large uh, granular lymphocytes. So the lymphocytes are of two different types granular and agranular means one with granules inside that are granular and the one without the granules that is agranular and uh, these are from the granular uh, lymphocyte part and they contain cytotoxic granules in them. The granules that they have they have chemical factors in them and they are termed as perforins and granzymes. Perforins selectively creates pores in the membrane of bacteria and other pathogen and granzymes uh, is going to destroy the proteins inside the uh, organism. The surface markers that we see is CD56 which you can see here CD56 mar marker which is uh, which is basically a neural cell adhesion molecule. So with the help of CD56 marker this natural killer cell can interact and adhere to neural cells, nerve cells of our body. Then there is CD16 uh, which recognizes antibody coated cells. So if a target cell is coated with specific antibody which will be recognized by CD16 and the natural killer cell can initiate the activation of killing that target cell. Then we have uh, the, the important feature of the natural killer cell is that they lack TCR that is T cell receptor. T cell receptor is only present on the surface of T cells of immune system which is lacking in the natural killer cells. You know sometimes it's difficult to find out and differentiate between natural killer cells and T killer cells because there are there are T cells uh, which can also kill those T killer cells and the natural killer cell have this difference is that the T killer cell has a CD3 on its surface and they also have T cell receptor on its surface. But natural killer cells they don't have any TCR or CD3 that makes them separate from T killer cells. Now location of action basically the this natural killer cells found in various kinds of tissues uh, the tissues are like uh, the liver like uh, the spleen, like lungs, like uh, like uh, the lymph nodes of our body, these are the places. All the blood and peripheral tissues are the places where basically the natural killer cells are found and uh, they patrol tissues via circulatory or lymphatic systems, either via the blood circulatory system or via the lymphatic system and they can also be found in the lymph nodes. Okay, and they target infected cells, stressed cells or tumorogenic cells, any category of cells, whether a cell is infected by virus or bacteria or any kind of pathogen. If a cell is under stress, if a cell is tumorogenic, which can get uh, into a formation of tumor and cancer, they target all category of these cells and the natural killer cells job is to basically kill them. They don't have anything to do, they'll just shoot them at sight. That's what their job is. So the function of natural killer cell here is listed, cytotoxic activities uh, where we have, it can kill the virus infected cells, tumor cells and stressed out cells, all categories of cells. That is a cytotoxicity part of natural killer cell. We have immune regulation part and in the immune regulation part they release uh, interferon gamma 
which helps in the modification of T cells into an activated form of T cell. T cell requires interferon gamma to get activated. So it activates macrophages and also activates T cells uh, that support the adaptive immunity of our body. Then antibody dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity or ADCC. Now full form antibody dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity ADCC. ADCC what it is basically in ADCC the CD16 that is present in the surface of the natural killer cell recognizes antibody coated cells. So any cell which is coated with antibody is something like icing on the top of the cake. When you see the icing it is more delicious. So if a cell is uh, targeted with antibody, it is coated with antibody, it is easy to engulf that. Okay? And CD16 recognize those antibody coated cells and they engulf it, they kill it, they destroy it. That is the job and that is known as antibody dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity which is a part of it. So what is the mechanism of recognition here? You can see the mechanism of recognition is a balances of activating and inhibitory receptors. So there are set of receptors. Inhibitory receptors are out there in the surface of the natural killer cells that is KIR, KIR and NKG2A. These are the two inhibitory receptors on the surface. Uh, if they are present, uh, the natural killer cells is inactive. But uh, they detect the MHC class 1 on the healthy cells. That is very important because natural killer cells job is to find out cells which are infected, which are stressed out to kill them, right? And also a tumorigenic cell to kill them. So all the cells, all nucleated cells in our body, they have MHC class 1 in the surface, right? So natural killer cells should not kill them because if natural killer cells start killing all the cells, the ultimately the, the tissues will degrade and a person will die. So to prevent that we have inhibitory receptors like KIR and NKG2A in the surface. Next is the activating uh, receptors. The activator receptors that are out there is NKG2D and NCR. Okay, These are activating receptors. They recognize stressed induced ligands. Particularly they find out ligands which is only found in the surface of cells which are under stress. So normal cells will not show this only abnormal cells stressed cells are going to show this this NKG2D and NCR ligands that marks the activation of natural killer cells and natural killer cell is going to bind to that cell and they are going to kill it. So healthy cell will not be killed due to the presence of inhibitor receptor they will not not kill uh, any healthy cell but they will kill a tumorigenic cell they will kill a stressed cell that is how uh, that is why they need this inhibitor receptor as well as activating receptors. Without both category of receptors, they cannot do this. That is very, very important property. The next one is cytotoxic functions. We know uh, they have granules that have exocytosis features, exocytosis properties. So they have perforins and granzymes. You can see this is natural killer cells. They release this perforin and granzyme together. Perforin creates pore in the cell surface, in the target cell surface and granzymes gets inside and degrade important proteins in, 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 this, in the cell as a result and also it triggers an apoptosis machinery that ultimately causes the death of this target cell. Uh, and they have death receptor pathway. There are specific ligands like a fast ligand on the surface of some target cell. When there is fast ligand in the target cell or there are uh, this receptor called TRAIL trail receptors. Okay, uh, so these are so they bind to the death receptors. The ligand that is fast ligand or tray. It, this is also ligand TRAI ligand. So both this category of ligand binds to the receptor known as fast receptor uh, or DR4 or DR5. DR4, DR5 are known as the uh, these fast receptors, and they bind to these receptors and trigger the mechanism of apoptosis. Okay, so now they have antibody mediated cell uh, mediated cytotoxicity, antibody dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity known as ADCC, and in this case, antibodies bind to the antigens or let's say the bacteria is the antigen, the bigger part. So antibody, these are antibody binding to the different surface of the pathogen that is bacteria in this case. Then natural killer cells with the help of CD16 uh, binds to the FC receptor and they are, they are going to recognize this FC receptors of the antibodies. Okay, they are going to recognize. Once they recognize the cross-linking will be done and the cross-linking of the CD16 uh, receptors will be done. As a result, it initiates the lytic synapse. As a result of this lytic synapse, release of certain chemical factors and ultimately cause the cell to die via the mechanism of death known as apoptosis. That is the overall process of antibody dependent cell mediated 
cytotoxicity or ADCC which is triggered by remember CD16 cross-linking on the surface of natural killer cells okay and the cytokine production is another role of natural killer cells you can see the natural killer cell produce interferon gamma this interferon gamma is going to activate macrophage and there is a relationship and interplay of signaling between natural killer cells and macrophage natural killer cells release interferon gamma to the macrophage and in response to that macrophage release interleukin 12 to natural killer cell and this crosstalk helps uh, to activate adaptive response in the body okay that is something it enhances macrophages activity and promotes the th1 t helpers one immune cells to start their own response so now what's the summary that natural cells natural killer cells are innate immune cells a part of our innate immune system that provides rapid response against infections and tumors or stressed out cells second is a balance activating and inhibitory receptor is very very important to be present in the surface of natural killer cells to understand which cell to kill which cell not to kill and the key functions include cytotoxic activity immune regulation virulence of specific cytokines and also adcc okay and the mechanisms involve granule uh, exocytosis exocytosis is based on the release of granules perforins their enzymes death receptor pathways fast ligand receptor pathways x which is also known as uh, the extrinsic pathways of apoptosis and also cytokine production are the important features of this particular uh, natural killer cell of immune system. I believe you have a clear idea on natural killer cells of the immune system. If you like this video, you are going to love all the cells of immune system series and I have already made a playlist on that. You can see that in this channel and also watch all the different videos regarding this playlist. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to get more videos like that in future. Thank you. Bye.